Big Blend Radio with Nancy and Lisa, the mother-daughter team and publishers of BigBlendMagazines.com. And our next guest is Sharon Gallagher, and she is no stranger to us at all. She's the banquet manager at Thornton Winery in Temecula in Southern California's wine region. You can check out the winery. Go to their website, ThorntonWine.com. Also, if you go to EatDrinkBeMerryMagazine.com, you'll get to check out Chef Piquel's recipe column. Chef Piquel runs and is the executive chef of Cafe Champagne on site at Thornton Winery. So, Sharon, how are you? Well, I'm just great. How are you guys doing? We're well, good. you know, we're feeling bubbly because you're on the line with us, you know. It's like, woohoo! <laughs> there you go. Oh, yes. Well, I'll tell you what. Things are really bustling around here. You know, we're heading towards the end of harvest. We're about 85% finished with the grapes. So the winemaker, he's working hard, and um, things are really coming along. We're gearing up for the holidays, and we're encouraging people and companies to book their their holiday events early because we will be filling up soon. Yeah, uh-huh. you know, Sharon, I think that's a good point. And number one, I just want to say, Elvis, go make that wine. <laughs> Oh, Absolutely. I've got a Dave Dave Regari. Good one. We, we, his nickname is Elvis. Every time he's on the show, he's like, "I'm Elvis," and I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> he's left the building and he's gone into the vineyards. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I I think harvest is just an exciting time because that's when it's like, okay, what are we going to make now, and how's it going to come out? You know, it's yeah. it's exciting. You know? It's very exciting, and you know they put in a lot of long hours because they have to pick the grapes. You know during the the early mornings when it's cool. So um, he's kind of tired. The crew will be ready for a, a little vacation when this is all over. That's ah, right. I know, I know. So here it is. You've got you know the Cafe Champagne has been doing you know these art of wine tasting workshops. This is what's exciting to me. How are they going? Because oh my gosh, they are going fabulous. The last class we had it was just uh, last month. It was the summertime wine and food pairing. It was a mm. hit. And our next class is on the twentieth of this month, and it's the theme. Get this, champagne. Okay, wait. Uh-huh. You know what? You know what? Okay, I'm sorry, but I know you're not on our Champagne Sunday show, but I have to do this. Here's to Champagne Sundays. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. So during this class, they're actually going to take the guests on a tour of the bottling line so they can learn how we make our champagne. Oh, so, so they get and to then the next the way, class, they which will be the last the... class in this series, is November 10th, and it's going to be red wine and chocolate. And it's um, going to learn the ins and outs of chocolate and wine pairing. So Yum. we're looking forward to the to this. And next year we plan on doing some more classes. Mark, who has been um, conducting these classes, is very informative, and he has a good sense of humor, and everyone is just thoroughly enjoying these classes. Well, Sharon, I wanted to ask um, you. And then, of course, we're um, jazz is going to end. We have two more concerts. Four play is the 13th, and then we have Hiroshima, which is on the 21st. And then so we'll be sad to see the season end, but it will resume again probably in April of next year. Sharon, I wanted to ask you um, in regard Hello? to – are you there? Uh-oh, we're having issues on the line here. I don't know what is going on, but hold on, Sharon. Stay on the line if you can hear me. Sharon, can you hear me? Sharon? Oh, boy. Here we go. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Sharon? Sharon is not there. I, I don't believe I am. Sharon, there are you there? you are. What happened? I don't know. I didn't do it. I did not do it. But I could, Nancy and I were trying to talk to you about the champagne class, and you and you disappeared, but you were there talking. And we're like, I know she can't hear me. I couldn't. <laughs> oh, that we're was... here. We're here. We're all here. So. Oh, good. Here's, here's, I wanted to ask you about the champagne classes because I think this is really exciting because a lot of people go, okay, now you can't do champagne properly in this country, but you do. And when people get to see the whole experience, 
They also get to see what's going on in regards to, uh, and Nancy and I had the privilege of going into the Champagne, the caves with you as well. Yes, yes. But also Listen. going into the room where you can actually see where the Champagne corks pop off into the ceiling. And that right. ceiling's mighty high. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And, you know, Mark, who conducts these classes, he will be explaining the process of of the champagne making and the bottling. So um, everyone that does attend will be learning something that they didn't know. So that's what's great about this. And, of course, you know, inter- go ahead. Okay. Um, our jazz season is going to um, – we have two more concerts left. And so we have Foreplay and Hiroshima. And Ooh. that yeah, so I love the, um, so I, I call it Hiroshima. Hiroshima. <laughs> Everybody has a different name. The way of they them. do, they do, don't they? But they're so, awesome. Yeah, and so um, you know we're booking holiday parties already. We've got a fabulous um, Thanksgiving buffet menu this year. We're trying something a little different by having a buffet instead of a plated. So oh, wow. we're looking forward to that. And it's a fabulous menu, and of course, you know Chef Steve. He's he's so uh, creative, and so it'll be a great time. So we're looking forward to that. And um, you know, you said, um, I like the Halloween party thing too. You yeah. know, That's- yes, yes, the the masquerade parties they're always a hit here too. And then, I think of course, that's the way to find your mate. No. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> of course, you or might not. be in for or a not. surprise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we have that going. And then, of course, our New Year's Eve, if we have to we uh, close out the end of the year and bring in the new. So we have something really exciting and fun. But you'll have to check back for details. Oh, Sharon, you know, that's really naughty of you, but I, I was, know I, was, I had to do that though. See, and I then when the two uh, best when you holidays. Talk to... <laughs> the two best holidays are New Year's and Halloween. That's it. They are. You, they are. Yeah, well, of they're course, just fun. It you don't is. have to do anything. You just have fun. You do. So and Christmas and Thanksgiving, go to your place and have somebody else cook. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? And that's why, you know, we're doing this fabulous buffet this year so that, you know, we can put on the dog for your family and you can just enjoy yourself. Because you have to admit Thanksgiving is a hard holiday to cook for. It's a lot it of is. work. A lot of it work. Is. Yes. Sharon, I want to talk about weddings, okay? Because sure. Because, uh, you know, I know I'm not getting married. But <laughs> well, not anytime oh, come soon, on. anyway. No, no. But if I do, I'll come. I'll come see you. I told you I'm that gonna, when I was there. Right? I'm going to post an ad for Lisa. On if Facebook. I'm ever going to get married, it's going to be at a winery. <laughs> Period. Yeah, there I'm you posting go. A, a wanted ad for Lisa on Facebook. No, are you there? I do not. Do, I will kill you, <laughs> and I will eat your feet. <laughs> I can totally do that. That sounds horrible. I'll kill my mother. Poor no, Lisa. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. But no, the, no, what I'm trying to say is, though, it is really beautiful because you drive in and you've got the beautiful waterfalls and everything. So, no, I'm not, you know, I'm not unromantic here. You unromantic? Know. <laughs> is there such a word? No. Linda, stop laughing at me right now. I know she's laughing at me. That means you've been romantic and then you und yourself. Yeah. Okay. No, but I'm, I'm just saying it's a romantic place that... You know, when you drive in, you see the waterfalls, and you go in, and you're like, ooh, some wine, champagne, and you overlook mm-hmm. the vineyards. I'm like, to me, this is cool. This is a cool place to get married. And you can have a limo service. Now, I'm gonna, I'm into, now, if I'm going to get married, okay, I would like to jump off the helicopter into <laughs> the vineyards. Is that allowed? Oh, my gosh. I think allowed? you should do it out of a hot air balloon. Okay. Yeah. That hey, would now be, I'm starting to warm up to, to the marriage jump. idea. You don't have to jump. <laughs> it's not you have to get married to, to be in a hot air balloon. not have to get married. The jumping, <laughs> the jumping off the cliff comes way later. Oh, yes. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's it's beautiful out there. And, and and that's where I really, really want more people to go to Temecula. That's kind of, I've got like a personal quest on this because, mm-hmm. you know, it's, Southern California, when everybody thinks about Napa, I always talk about this. I know it's annoying to everybody, but it's really true. You've got to check out all the wine regions. If you're into wine, 
stop stop it. <laughs> Just stop going to the same places. Start going to places like Temecula. And let's see, if you're going to Temecula, then stay there because it's cool. You guys have great wines, <laughs> but it's beautiful. You've got the hills surrounding you. It is like being in a little part of Italy. And to me, if you're going to get married, go do it there. Absolutely. Did I talk you... myself into a hole? <laughs> well, I think you're you're working yourself into a hole. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll let you. <laughs> but do you realize how many local people don't know we're here? That, that's wow. exactly it's, it. It's just amazing how, you know, people that have lived here for five, ten years – because they they go to work, they come home, they have their kids, they have sports, and so they don't take the time out to, um, you know, see what's really out here. They would be amazed at the beauty, you know. So I, you know what? I think you've made a good point because that is why we ended up with magazines. Nancy can tell you this. In, in South Africa, when we did a two and a half year tour with her art, and, oh. and she was raising money for the Cancer Association. And for two and a half years, we traveled the entire country, and mm-hmm. all we heard everywhere, Nancy, what was, what was, what did we they hear? Just, there's nothing to do, and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Yeah. Huh? You know, so maybe you should have Even like a selling bar. Have you know? a soccer mom wine tasting. Yeah, you know, because at the end of the day, they need it. People get used to their surroundings to a point of it's almost we all kind of take it for granted. Like here we are in in Tucson, we have Saguaro National Park, we have all these amazing things, and you have to kind of get yourself out there to start remembering. Wait a minute, we have this to do. We can do this. Mm-hmm. We have these amazing places because we do forget. And you do. Yeah. So that's you just get wrapped about. up in your life and, um, you know, you don't take time out to enjoy your surroundings. And when and you're in Temecula, save your, ga- your, your gas and go just, you know what, your tank of gas could go towards a bottle of wine. That's all that's I'm right. trying to say. If you're in Temecula, a you know what the Temeculans do. <laughs> Yes. Go to Thornton Winery and, and have a glass of wine. Okay, so so, so this is, a, you know what, because it is a beautiful area, and again, you know, Nancy and I have been there a number of times. Mm-hmm. Um, it is beautiful. It's exquisite. Now, what about weddings, outdoor weddings, because you're in Southern California. Does that still happen? Do we bring tents out? How does this whole thing work when you start looking at fall yes. and winter? Well, you know, our most of our weddings do take place outside on the lower Mm -hmm. lawn where you were talking about the waterfall and the pond. And in the event that um, they have a wedding in the winter or the fall where there's inclement weather, then a tent would have to be rented. Or if it was a small one, you know, we could have the wedding in the caves or upstairs in the vineyard view room. So there are options. Um, And so the... The whole surrounding, you just get caught up in it, and it would make it beautiful no matter where you where you had your wedding, you know, just depending on the size. Yeah, I mean, your weather is so good there that you probably, for most of the time, could just be out on that beautiful lawn and not... Yes, yes. Yeah. So, and, there. you know, with the winter, of course, the the willow tree does go dormant, and the roses, you know, and the vineyards, but... You still have that whole surrounding that still gives you that beautiful, wonderful feeling of being at a winery. And besides Mm. that, we have wonderful food and great wine and fabulous champagne and just the whole ambiance of the setting makes for a beautiful wedding. You know, awesome. there it is. So is it too late? To, you know, when you think about holiday parties, too, you got weddings, you got holiday parties. And, and I know that, you know, the fall season is a is a popular wedding season, as is the winter weddings. I mean, isn't that a whole thing, too? It's it's like, wait a minute, we've got these colors, we've got, we're going to wear this, do that. Absolutely, you know, and especially in the fall with the vineyards when the leaves are turning the orange and the reds and the yellows. I mean, it's breathtaking. I have caught myself coming in the morning to work and stopping and taking pictures because you just can't believe the colors and how lovely it is. So, um, you know, every every season has its specialty. Uh, okay, so now we've got the seasons, but now the holiday seasons for parties. Um, 
It okay. really has to happen now. I know it's we're in October, we're in the beginning of October, but really, isn't it kind of like get it? If you want to get your date, you need to do it now. Absolutely, because yeah. the um, Fridays and Saturdays in December book up so fast. I mean, I already have dates already booked, and I encourage people to book now. Don't be it's, sorry. Book now. It's so yeah. true. The the holiday season does not to have to be this big hectic rush. It is just called start early. Mm-hmm. I know Absolutely. I start early. That's mm-hmm. right. Be organized, and then yeah, that's just one less thing you have to worry about. So I always encourage people to book early and let us do all yeah. all the work for you and just relax and enjoy yourself. So, Sharon, when when people are looking at booking a holiday party at, at Thornton Winery, what about the number of guests? I mean, would a small business be able to bring, like, maybe 50 to 100 people or, you know? We could accommodate them in the production room. You know, mm-hmm. and you know where they do the bottling. We've had Ooh, nice. um, we have a lot of events in there during the holidays, and when you have your tables and your linens and your centerpieces, and you know we have a Christmas tree and the lights, and and so it's very festive and it's really it's nice. So and, we and can what accommodate about, those. And and how how big can you go in in number of people to an event? Uh, about a hundred people for in the production area. If you have a larger group, then we would have to rent a tent, mm-hmm. and we could set that up in the courtyard. And then, of course, we can accommodate like three hundred people. Wow. Nice. So, nice. Yeah. So we could have a big party. We like sure those. could. So you just There's come some... out from Arizona and come here to Temecula. Well, you know what? Steve Thornton was telling us about um, his rollaway bar, and I'm into that. I want one in my house. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and, you know, that's for our stand-up tasting that we have in the production area on the weekends. But then when we have large events, we use that. We incorporate those outside to set up bars in different areas. So it was really a, a fabulous idea for them to have that fabricated. Now, so we're getting a lot of use out of you. it. Did you see the the photo of uh, Steve and John Thornton, the owners of the winery, parasailing? Did you see that <gasps> photo? I did. Wow, isn't that crazy? That's I'm like, cool. wait a minute. Can you put can you put champagne in those sails? <laughs> <laughs> oh you know, my hey. goodness! I yeah. think you have to be like that to run a winery. I don't. I think people don't realize how much goes into running a winery. It's not easy. <laughs> it's no, just, it's not. It's yeah. a lot of work. Uh, uh, yeah. A lot of work. People just have no idea uh, the the work and the money and the planning and mm-hmm. just everything yeah. that's involved in in uh, a winery. You know, it's a business. You have payroll that you have to meet. You know, you have mm-hmm. budgets and um, and you know you have to you have to be able to sell your product. You know, right? Right. Mm-hmm. There's a lot. Well, Sharon. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I'm saying this now in October because we start our holidays with Halloween around here. <laughs> oh, we start, sure. We always start the party early. Yes. Do you really? Oh Actually, yeah. Actually, we're doing we're doing a special Halloween show. Yeah, we're we we just we're we're, we're playing Devil's Boardroom. You know, we're, we're going to yeah. call you. We're going to call Are you on Halloween. I'm gonna oh, call good. You, you do that. So. I am. I'll let you. I know, okay. and we can, and you can yell at me too if you want. I'll call you in the middle of the event because it's Halloween. Yeah, there you go. Well, uh-huh. you girls, you you have a great holiday, also, you know. And let's hope uh, 2013 is is good for everybody. Hey, it's got the number 13, and it's got to be good. We can there you go. I okay. love it. Well, Sharon, always a pleasure chatting with you. Even better seeing you in person and and hanging oh. out with you. And we're going to see you really soon because we're are coming you? back your way. Yes, um, we cool. are. We are talk about event planning. We are doing the Juan Batista National Historic Trail, which is what you are on in Temecula, um, in at Thornton Wine is on the trail. It's a National Historic Trail, part of our big tour that we're doing with the Spirit of America tour, going to all 398 national parks, which was 397 a couple of days ago. Oh um, but the Juan Batista de Anza Trail. We are going to do little wine tastings and parties all the way up the trail from Nogales, Arizona, into Tucson, and all the way through Temecula, 
and into San, Santa Barbara, Ventura, and up to San Francisco. Oh, fabulous. So well, I'll, I'll look you. forward to that. <laughs> we'll, cool. we'll open up the bottle. Yeah, of course. That's <laughs> the first thing I thought of. Well, if we're going to have parties, yeah. we we got to do something with Thornton Wines. You know? Absolutely. For sure. Well, great. Well, well we, we look have forward to seeing you. Yeah, that will be in the in the winter and early spring will be up your way. So we're looking okay. forward to seeing you again. And everybody, again, I want to say that ThorntonWine.com is a place to go. And if you want some great recipes, check out Chef Bikel's recipes on uh-huh. Eat, Drink, Be Merry Magazine.com. You can listen to his past interviews there as well. Thanks so much, Sharon. You too. And have a great day. And I look forward to seeing you soon. And happy Wine Wednesday, by the way. (laughs) You too. Okay. Take care. (laughs) Bye-bye. Bye-bye.